do justice. Amen. I mean, we just can't believe it. Thank you. A Calusa County man convicted of murdering his best friend will remain behind bars. The resentencing hearing was prompted by a 2013 law. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf was at the hearing and has the details from the Calusa County Courthouse. Today, the Calusa community showed they are strong and still supporting each other 20 years after this heinous crime. So grateful for you, your presence. Their prayers were answered once again. We did do justice. Amen. I mean, we just we can't believe it. Thank you. Friday morning, a Calusa County Superior Court judge upheld the life sentence for Nathan Ramazzini, convicted of murdering his best friend Eric Ingebretson back in 1997. I feel that the Calusa District Attorney's Office did everything in their power um, to make sure that the judge saw just how heinous this crime really was. A then 16-year-old Ramazzini and another teen lured Eric to a spot along the Sacramento River. Then Ramazzini beat him with a baseball bat and slit his throat. Ramazzini was serving his time when SB 9 was passed, giving teen offenders sentenced to life without the possibility of parole a second chance. We went through this years ago when we were all teenagers, and it was it was terrible. And to have to go through it again um, has brought back so many bad memories. Judge Jeffrey Thompson said he was obligated to hear testimony and review court records, but ultimately found Ramazzini showed no remorse and was, quote, calculating, deceitful, and dangerous, and doubted he could be rehabilitated. John Pointer, the former DA who tried the original case, is challenging the law in court. It was terrible. It, it, you know, if Jerry Brown and the liberal legislature would quit thinking more about inmates and more about victims. I mean, we should not have had to go through this. Under current law, this case could come before a judge again. Eric's family hopes that doesn't happen, but knows Eric will be with them if it does. I was only able to do this because, uh, you know, he's watching over me and I know it. The victim's family says they are ready to get back to their lives, their families, their careers. Their whole life has been put on hold for the past year while this case has been revisited.